Hello, today's video is an efficient guide on farming contracts. In this video, I'll go over each tier of farming contracts that you can get, as well as what to do if you have different goals or if you're an Iron Man account or whatever. So this guide should be helpful no matter what your farming level is or what your goals are or what restrictions you have. The farming guild is located in the northwest corner of Zaya, just southwest of Mount Karum. One way to get here is the fairy ring code CIR, and there are various other teleports around here, but probably the best way to get here is the spirit tree. At 83 farming, you can plant a spirit tree in this patch here, in the most northern tier of the farming guild. And the quickest way to get to a spirit tree is either in your house if you have one planted, which is pretty high level so it's fair if you don't have that planted. I don't even have one planted yet on my group Iron Man. So what I do on my group Iron Man is teleport to the Grand Exchange and then run northeast to the spirit tree there in the Grand Exchange. And that way I'm able to use the spirit tree to the farming guild. If you haven't seen my beacon Beginner farming guide, I talk about the farming guild a lot in that video, so if you want to check that out, I'll link that in the description. At level 45, the only contracts you can get are here within this first tier. Actually, if you're just level 45, then the only contracts you can actually get are bush and allotment patches. In the allotment patches, you can get tomatoes, sweet corn, strawberries, potatoes, and onions in the easy tier. You have the same chance of getting anything on the list, so it doesn't really matter what you plant exactly. Although I would recommend doing whatever takes the longest, so for the easy tier allotment patch, that would be sweet corn and strawberries, which takes 60 minutes while all of the other allotments that I mentioned take 40 minutes. If you're a main account and you buy your seeds, then I would recommend doing whatever the highest level is that you can do. That way it just gives you more XP. Although sweet corn is actually expensive, so I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're doing farming contracts for money. And if you're an Iron Man, probably just do whatever you have the most of, unless you have a lot of the higher level seeds like sweet corn and strawberries then I would recommend doing, again, just whatever is the highest level you can do. That way you get some more XP. And it doesn't take too long to grow the other stuff if you get those as a task instead. In the bush patch, you can plant red berries, dwell berries, and kadava berries at level 45. Although at level 48, you can also plant jenger berries. Jenger berries and dwell berries take the most amount of time, so I would recommend doing those, or again, just whatever you have the most of. I think it's good to always have something planted. With the easy tier farming contracts, there's only one cactus that you can get assigned at level 55, which is just a normal cactus, so you don't have to worry about that. In the flower patch, you can be assigned woads, rosemaries, nasturtiums, marigolds, and limpworts. They all take the same amount of time, so it doesn't really matter which one you plant, although personally, I would recommend limpworts, at least if you're an Iron Man, because those really come in handy if you're doing herb lore. If you do easy contracts and you have access to the medium tier, then you can get assigned stuff here as well. And the herb patch you can be assigned toad flax, teramins, ranars, marantils, irits, heralanders, guams, and aventos. They all take the same amount of time as well, so I'd recommend planting whatever is the most profitable for you if you're a main, which usually depends because the prices are always changing, so you'll probably just have to figure it out yourself, like look at the price of the seeds and the herbs on the Grand Exchange to decide what you want to plant. Or if you're an Iron Man, then of course it should just be either whatever you have the most of or whatever you need. In the tree patch, you can be assigned willows, maples, and oak trees. Maples take the longest and they're able to be assigned in medium and hard contracts, so 
I would recommend planting maples. If you have an easy contract and you have access to the highest tier of the farming guild, then you can be assigned a few different fruit trees. These are oranges, curry trees, banana trees, and apple trees. They all take the same amount of time, so again, just do whatever is the most profitable at the time or whatever you have the most of or whatever you need for whatever reason. For medium contracts, you need at least level 65 farming and can be assigned various different things. So in the allotment patch, you can be assigned strawberries, watermelons, and snape grass. Watermelons and snape grass take the most amount of time to grow, so I would probably recommend doing those. And of course there are two patches, so you can have snape grass in one and watermelons in the other one. Plus this is nice if you're close to the level for hard contracts, because in those you only get watermelons and snape grass for the allotment patches. In the bush patch you can be assigned Jenger berries, white berries, and poison ivy. They all take the same amount of time but personally I would recommend doing poison ivy because it's immune to disease so you don't have to worry about it dying. I mean of course only if you have a lot of them but they're also very useful because you can use them for herb lore. I mean you can also use white berries for herb lore so that would be my second choice. But Poison Ivy also gives you more XP, so I would recommend like having white berries planted in other patches that you just keep there and just go back occasionally to pick the white berries and then plant Poison Ivy in this patch for the XP because you're gonna be like replanting it a lot. In the cactus patch, you can be assigned cactus or potato cactus. Normal cactus takes a lot longer to grow, so I would recommend planting that. In the flower patch, the only flower that you can be assigned in medium contracts is white lilies. This is hard to get on an Iron Man account, but they are very useful, so I'd recommend planting your white lily here like as soon as you get a seed, and really like watching it and making sure it doesn't die because it's really useful because it keeps these plants alive and of course you can get it as a farming contract, although I wouldn't really recommend picking it unless you have more seeds. In the medium tier, you can be assigned Irrits, Aventos, Quarms, Snapdragons, Cadentines, and Lantadimes. They all take the same amount of time, so I'd recommend doing, again, just whatever you have the most of, or whatever is the most profitable, or whatever you need. If you're an Iron Man especially, then I wouldn't really recommend doing the higher level seeds here because this is not a disease free patch so only plant them here if you get a farming contract for it otherwise I'd just plant them in the disease free patches just to make sure they grow. In the tree patch you can be assigned maples, hues, and magic trees. Magic trees take the longest amount of time to grow but if you want to be efficient then you'd probably do maple trees because they're the most likely to be assigned if you're skipping contracts because they can be assigned in any tier. So if you're starting with hards or mediums and you you get some task that takes a long time or that you don't have the seeds for, then you could still get a maple tree contract in the medium and easy tiers. In the fruit tree patch in the highest tier of the farming guild, if you're doing medium contracts, then you can be assigned curry trees, pineapple plants, papaya trees, and palm trees. They all take the same amount of time to grow, so I'd recommend doing whatever based on your personal goals. Like, if you want more XP, then do palm trees or papaya trees or do whatever is the most profitable at the time if you're a main account doing this for profit or just do whatever you need or whatever you have the most seeds of. And finally, with hard contracts, there are only two different allotments that you can be assigned, which is snape grass and watermelon. So I would recommend having one patch for snape grass and one for watermelons. Again, there's only one flower that you can be assigned with hard contracts which is white lilies. And like I said in the medium section, they're very useful because they keep these plants alive and of course they're just 
the only ones you can be assigned in this patch. In the bush patch, you can only be assigned white berries and poison ivy. I recommend doing whatever based on your personal goals, like if you're going for profit then do whatever is the most profitable at the time because they both take the same amount of time to grow. But again, personally, I would recommend doing poison ivy, especially if you're an iron man because it gives the most XP and you don't have to worry about it dying. Here in the herb patch, you can be assigned snapdragons, cadentines, lantatimes, dwarf weed, and torstals. They take the same amount of time to grow, so just grow whatever you want depending on your personal goals. In the tree patch, you can be assigned maple trees, yews, and magics. Magics take the most amount of time to grow, but they are not profitable, so if you're a main account doing this for profit, I really wouldn't recommend doing that. Maple trees are probably the best if you want to be efficient, because you can get them in any tier of contract. So if, for example, you're doing a hard contract and it's something that you can't do or don't want to do, then you can skip it and do a medium contract instead, and you have the chance of getting a maple tree as a contract in the medium tier and in the easy tier. So it's good to just have that planted if you want to like do farming contracts as quickly as possible. Of course, there are a couple of special patches where you can only grow one type of plants, so you want to always have a Celastrus tree planted as long as you have the seeds and have the level, but you should get a lot of seeds for them if you are consistently doing farming contracts and doing a spory. And same with redwoods, I've gotten a decent amount of them from doing farming contracts, so you definitely want to always have one planted because they take a really long time to grow. Although if it's like nowhere near done and you get a contract for it, then you might just want to skip it if you want to do the farming contract, which I'd recommend doing if you want to be efficient and get as many seeds as you can. You can't get a contract for spirit trees, but I'd recommend having one planted just because it's useful and it's the fastest way to get to the farming guild, unless you have the farming cape, of course. And here in the fruit tree patch, there are only two types of trees that you can get assigned in hard contracts, which are palm trees and dragon fruit trees. They take the same amount of time to grow, although dragon fruit trees are not profitable, so if you're a main account, then I wouldn't recommend doing them. But if you're an Iron Man, then just plant whatever you need or whatever you have the most seeds of, which would usually be palm trees. Or you can just keep it empty until you get assigned something, which is usually what I do on my group Iron Man. You do get a decent amount of palm and dragon fruit trees if you do enough Hespori and farming contracts though, so it kind of works out. You cannot be assigned anything in the anima patch, you just grow whatever you want to grow. So you get these from Hespori and you can get Addis seeds, Kronos seeds, and Iazor seeds. The Addis seeds increase the yield of everything all around Gilinor, so you can get more herbs from your herb patches, more seaweed from your seaweed patches, stuff like that. The Kronos seeds give a chance for your plants to skip a growth stage, so basically it makes your plants grow faster. So this is nice if you're wanting to be really efficient and do lots of farming content contracts throughout the day, because then obviously you can do them faster if you have the Kronos plant planted. And last is Iazor seeds, which decrease the chance of your plants getting diseased. So I would say the Chrono Seeds are really useful for main accounts if you want to be efficient, or Iron Man accounts if you really want to be efficient, but if you're just a normal player and you don't care about like being sweaty about your farming contracts, then I'd recommend Atta Seeds and Iasaur Seeds. Those are personally what I prefer using on my group Iron Man, so I just kind of have like a lot of Chrono Seeds banked that 
I don't really use because they're not useful for me personally because I'm not like really efficient with my farm runs to be honest. Although they can definitely be nice if you're doing like some kind of tree contract and it's taking a while to grow, then you can plant a chrono seed to make it a little bit faster. Between these two seeds, I don't think I really have a preference for one over the other. I just plant whatever I have the most of. So what you do is you plant them here and they immediately become active and they go through this stage becoming fully grown and then dying and they're still active that entire time until they die. And then once they're dead you can just dig them up and plant another. If you really want to be efficient then I recommend only doing contracts if you already have something planted or if it doesn't take longer than like a few hours to grow. Of course if you're the type of person who doesn't really care and you don't do like a lot of farm runs then you you don't have to worry about this, but if you plan on doing another farming contract like within the next few hours, then I would recommend not taking contracts if there's something that takes more than a few hours. So what you can do if you get a contract that you don't like, let's say I don't want this contract, so I'll ask if Guildmaster Jane has anything easier that I can do which will bring me down a tier. So right now this is a hard tier so I'm gonna go to medium. And for my medium contract I'm doing a magic tree. But then if you don't like that then you can just go down another tier to easy. And now I have Marantil. And now I can't go down any more tiers and now if I complete my Marantil contract then I'll get an easy tier seed packet, which basically means that I won't get as good seeds from this packet, but it still might be decent. If you're starting with hard contracts and you go down to medium, then it's not too much of a downgrade. Like you can still get a lot of high level seeds, they're just not quite as high level as the high tier, but they're still decent, so I'd recommend doing that, especially for profit. And in the low tier, you just get like low level seeds. So I'd recommend only going to the low tier if you really have to. I mean, think of it this way, if you get a contract to do a redwood tree, but it's gonna take days to grow because you like just did one or whatever and you don't have one fully grown. And then you go down to the medium tier and you get a magic tree which you don't have planted but that would take several hours to grow. So then you can just do a simple low level contract but that way you can get that contract out of the way and then you can get another high tier contract and you might get something better like a herb that you already have planted or like watermelons or snape grass. So it's efficient that way even though the easy seed packet that you get is not good, but you still save a lot of time by doing that. And so you're able to do another high tier contract again much sooner than you would if you just waited a few days or several hours to be able to do the high or medium tiers. Well that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed or found this helpful. Remember to do your farm runs. Also if you're new to farming I'd recommend checking out my farming guide. It really took me a while to make so I hope people appreciate it. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye lovelies.